calculate percent of an amount okay so here we have three questions I will do some of them for you what is 40 percent of 70 that is the question so let me first teach you how to write an equation and get the answer so what is we'll literally translate each and every word in this phrase or a sentence and make it an equation so we have what is we don't know what is so we'll write a variable x for what correct so let me write the variable x here on the top so that is how you're going to do all the questions so what we don't know so we say x or you can say question mark so I'll write okay let me write x it's easy x is is means equals to so what is means equal to 40 percent so you know 40 percent per cent per hundred 40 per hundred right so it comes to 40 per hundred of translates to multiply so what is 40 percent of 70 equals to 70 that is it so we don't know what and that we write with a variable x correct you could write a question mark so what is 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 equal to equal to right 40 percent of it translates to multiply 70 so we get this now you need your calculator correct and then do 40 divide by 100 you do 40 divide by 100 equals to and then do times 70 equals to you get 28 and that is your answer correct so you do so 28 so what is 40 percent of dollar 70 so when they are asking dollar don't forget to write the unit so you see so it is x which is dollar 28 do you get me so that is how you are going to first create an equation and then solve it right let me do the next one again for you what is we don't know what you can use a question mark what I don't know what is we'll try to find out this number what is is means equal to 5% means 5 over 100 of means times 1000 1000 so calculate use your calculator or oh, this one is simple right five percent of thousand so hundred hundred goes how many times ten times two thousand right so when you divide thousand by hundred you get two zeros cut you get left with ten right so five times ten is fifty so what is five percent of dollar thousand it'll be dollar fifty don't forget to write dollar that unit dollar okay dollar fifty do you see that that is how you have to do I hope you are getting the way to do it right let me do one more now you help me out and do it along with me so what did you like X or this question mark or something else what is hundred and twenty percent of sixty dollars first tell me without calculating the answer should be more or less in previous cases what did we observe what is 40 percent of 70 it is less than 70 do you see that 50 percent is half which is 35 40 percent is less than 35 that seems to be the correct answer right five percent of thousand five percent of hundred is five for 1000 it should be times 10 50 that sounds good right but these numbers were much lesser here what is 120 percent more than 100 percent of 60 if I say 100 percent of 60 I will get same answer but 120 I am expecting more than 60 this time okay so let's say what is 100 what will define a variable right so we say y is means equal to 120 percent I write 120 over 100 of translates to times 60 got it now let's use your calculator and then find the answer for the time being 
120 divided by 100 times 60. You can do all in one row also, right? 72, correct? And the units are dollar. So you'll write dollar 72. That is your answer. And that is how you have to do such problems, okay? Now do some problems from your book and I hope you understand the process. Or I can change some questions for you. So instead of 40%, write 35%. Instead of 5%, write 3%. And instead of 120%, write 125%. And do these problems yourself. Okay, now you also know how to make your own question, correct? <laughs> so now, to revise. If you are given a question, how does this statement gets translated into an equation? What you have to define a variable, right? Which you don't know. Is means equal to. Something means, percent means over 100. Is it okay? That number over 100. Of means times. And this number should come as such. Do you understand? That is how you make an equation and find out what that number is going to be. Correct? I hope you understand this and it's so easy for you. Thank you.